couple of months ago, I read uh, the, the survey report about the perception of the ordinary American people on 30 minority groups in the United States. The questionnaire of the survey was quite direct questions, such as, you know, are you willing to accept the Korean man and woman as your son-in-law or daughter-in-law? In this survey, South Korea ranked 26 out of 30 minority groups. Another example is a survey on which country is the strongest ally of the United States. South Korea ranked number 27 out of 144 countries. I think it is still disappointing. South Korea and the United States fought together against the aggression by North Korea during the Korean War. The United States sacrificed as many as 36,940 young American soldiers for the freedom and democracy of South Korea. So we are blood allies. Even after the Korean War, the United States supported South Korea by providing economic aid and also by awakening the importance of democracy. South Korea paid back to the United States by becoming the best example demonstrating that the American value, which is democracy and market economy, finally prevails. In addition, South Korea has become one of the strong partners in the international relations. And also now at this moment, the South Korea is the sixth largest trading partner of the United States. With those things in mind, I believe South Korea should rank at least five to six. These discrepancy, I believe, come from the fact that the American people know too little about South Korea and about the special relations between our two countries. Even here in Los Angeles, the Korean, the American people, they know Korean community but they know very little about South Korea itself. Public diplomacy should take realistic and cool-headed approach in order to be successful.